Venera 1 was launched on February 12, 1961, 34 minutes after midnight UTC from Baikonur Cosmodrome's Site No. 1. Venera means Venus, and as the name indicates, the probe's mission was to fly by Venus and relay scientific data on our close neighbor. It had a mass of 643.5 kilograms and was launched on a Molnia 8K78 rocket, a variant of the R7 with both an upper stage as well as a Block L transfer stage. The probe was pressurized and cooled. It was powered by solar panels and had a mesh dish antenna to communicate back to Earth as well as an antenna boom which also held the magnetometer. Other instruments included the usual micrometeorite and radiation detectors, but also an experiment to measure the solar wind. The entire Block L stage was placed in orbit along with the probe, and at a special ullage section to settle the fuel down at the right time for the ullage to start for the transfer. The ullage section was discarded after the engine started. While the probe was mostly spin stabilized, it had thrusters to despin for course corrections, and it was the first spacecraft to do these corrections by orienting using the sun and stars, specifically the star Canopus. Venera 1 did enter Venus's sphere of influence at a distance of 100,000 kilometers from the planet three months after launch. However, contact had been lost after seven days, so even though it was on the correct trajectory, it could not relay the data. This was likely due to the new orientation system failing to point the main dish towards Earth correctly. Despite the failure of the spacecraft, Venera 1 began a long string of Soviet missions to Venus, first on Molnia rockets and then on Proton rockets, with many initial failures, but ultimately the Soviet Union's greatest interplanetary exploration successes. The later Venera probes were the first to land on the surface of Venus and the first to relay photographs from the surface of Venus. The United States would, however, nab the first successful planetary flyby title with Mariner 2, transmitting data from Venus SOI in 1962. On that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Venera 1.